now, which means everybody and their mother is able to get this game and play it now. So if you play it without doing the DLC lobbies, and I've ended up with a couple of people who never bought them, you will end up in the newbiest lobbies you will ever find. You will not be able to die, I promise. There is only one thing we say today. Not today. Just for tips, run Serb, Wraith, Raps, then cover your ass with these two guys, Trip Mine, Shock Charge combo. Avoid the one good player that is in the game, and you'll be golden. So, Scavenger, KN with Rapid Fire, Quick Draw, run an audio perk with Ghost. Remember that back in the day in Call of Duty when you used to be able to run perks together and customize classes? <laughs> yeah, what a novel concept, right? I don't think they liked it because people were actually able to develop a class in which they could do well in. Developers don't like that when you do well, I don't think. You have to play their way or no way. And the reason for that is, is because with this class, I'm covering two routes of my shock charge trip mines, plus I get my hive, it's five more, it's seven different routes I'm covering as one person, plus my rifle. It's pretty overpowered, but it's in the game and I'm going to use it. And honestly, I don't know why everybody in this game doesn't run this exact same class. But luckily for me, they don't. And really, the big payoff for this is the fact that you don't die. You're not checking your 6, you're looking at your 12 with your rifle, because your 6 is covered. Therefore, you can get your streaks, and if you're getting your streaks, like the Serb, and the Wraith, and the Raps, back in Call of Duty days, when you actually had streaks that would add 20 plus kills to your uh, already sufficient kill streak. It would help you out. They didn't want to do that in WWE 2. At max, you get 15 kills in a row. You get maybe two kills with your paratroopers. Hurrah. Patience is a virtue. The guy definitely tripped my trip mine, so I know he's there. He's not even shooting at me. And it pays off. I'm eight, nine kills in. And I got the hive, so it's all downhill from here. I cover all these routes here. Get 125 points per hive kill. Get four of them. Five of them at a time, depending on how fast you can shoot them. Got serve number one on standby. So every time I get the whole location locked out, I will move to the other side of the map so I can cover more locations and get more kills. That whole left side is pretty much good to go. Serve's gonna be in the middle, so the only place I really need to be is on the right. But I'm gonna control this serve right here real quick, like Johnny Five. Get the Wraith out first. Here's where the real killing begins. I got him locked out with hives, got him locked out with trip mines, I got this serve on the ground, and I got the Wraith in the sky. They only move where I tell them to. Any other way, and you're playing this game entirely wrong. You want total map control. They don't get to move. So natural quad feed with kill streaks. That's what Call of Duty used to be like. Remember that? This is standard for Black Ops 3. Hashtag bring the streaks back. Look at this friendly noob rushing the spawn. Everything's gonna die by the time you get there, bro. Just let them keep spawning in one location. It makes it a lot more efficient if you do. So I gotta get out of the serb, check my six, make sure nobody's spawning behind me. Luckily they aren't. I'm gonna recheck my serb again and see what's going on. They're only doing it because I earned that part of the map. It's not like they earned anything in this game. It's a welfare Call of Duty today. If you end up doing that and you end up pushing, turn around, run 100 feet in the other direction, it ends up being an Easter egg hunt. Totally lame. Where the enemy spawns is all within your control. Like I said, you, you tell them where to run, you tell them where to spawn. The whole idea is full autonomy. If you end up controlling the entire map, they're not going to have anywhere else to spawn but behind you. So you have to give them at least a little pocket to spawn in. <laughs> Just standard Call of Duty protocol. Luckily, I can at least see the signs of when it might flip. You gotta be a realist, you can't control everybody on your team, so be flexible and be ready for it. Despite the fact that it creates more variables, which equals literally risk. Don't you stick that knock in your leg? Oh, that hurts. Out of nowhere. <laughs> if it hadn't have flipped, we probably had a little bit more control over what was happening and where. So, 32 is not a completely bad start. It's about halfway through. Let's go ahead and get started again and see if we can uh, get this going. Now, I don't necessarily agree with free streaks like the hive and stuff. It would be nice if it was still like attached to a kill streak because. I mean, I did die, but I still have my reward for my last life. So let's do a little survey. We've got a bunch of hives out. 
What do you think's gonna happen? He chose neutral. Poorly. I definitely think it would be a little tougher if they were firing back at me. I really do hope this marketing strategy works with the whole free game thing. Because maybe if everybody's getting the free Black Ops 3, they'll be inclined to pay some money for Black Ops 4 and there'll be even more noobs and bigger lobbies and more fun. So a lot like last time, you got the hives out and your trip mines. You want to be careful not to die because that's your investment. You don't want to mess up your investment. You have to be able to capitalize on your work. If you're not getting any sort of reward for your work, you're definitely not playing this game. You can't die at the wrong time. That messes a lot of things up. Ugh, I was just like a second late on that triple kill there. It would have been really nice with the gun change. Not to mention an even 50. But since we're uh, tromping through the middle and walking around, let's see what's cooking. Oh my god. I don't think a single one of those guys is even looking in my direction. Alright, serve number two. The reason why I run these streaks together is mostly because when you get the serve, you're pretty much guaranteed to get the wraith right afterward. I'm only 150 kills away from my next kill streak. All I would have to do is get two kills with the serve, and I'd be in. But luckily, the serve has the option to do its own thing, because you do not want to be AFK in a serve when you got Buku Charlie literally surrounding you. Oh my god, nope. Nope. You can't hit me. Wraith out. Serve out. Let's get those hives out. We're good to go. Bring it. Traps are set. Let's fire my weapon, set a little bait, and run the other direction. We gotta find a good place to go AFK inside the serb anyway. And like I said, one streak leads to another. You can very likely get rats without even having to fire your weapon once the serb comes out. Yep, there they are. Raps number two. Standard. Alright, good thing this goes to 100. There's only a few more left. Let's make them count. No! Get out of my way. Ah! <laughs> yes! You cannot get me! It's like a John claude Van Damme, your ass! Let's see that in slow-mo replay. Headshot. Ooh. Dice. In the nuts. Couldn't say it better myself. Those guys should have stayed away from me like poison. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and please check out my other videos. Peace out.